that. Here. Dinah found it in the library. It was taken 25 years ago before I met you. I am Riley. You're probably wondering why I never mentioned it. Well, we have been at the Graham Riley Festival for three days now. It's not like you didn't have your chance. Did you love it? What could I know about love? I wasn't much older than Josh. All these years, you never said anything. Did you think I wouldn't understand? Did you think I'd be jealous? It was just so humiliating. I was embarrassed and ashamed. He flirted with me at a concert in Charleston. I took him seriously. I followed him all the way to Alama. If you had called me a groupie, I would have been insulted. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell anyone. Trevor? I'm looking for Trevor. He's not here. This is your fault. You encouraged him. Josh is so. He left that on the bed. He took his backpack. He's gone. I'm sure he'll show up. I'm not sure. Can you talk to the police? They've been no help. I, I have a terrible feeling about this. He's been threatening to hitchhike to Canada. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything that stupid. I'll have Josh search the bandstand area, and I'll swing through town. If you see Hattie, have her start looking around the campground. All right, where are you going to be? I'd like to go home with you, if I might. He may stop by, and you shouldn't have to wait alone. If you want. Run away. We'll find him. She won't run so hard on him. You were trying to protect him. If he had been my son, I might have done the same. I've been very rude. This festival, then you. I just didn't want to think about Graham. You must miss him very much. Of course I miss him. He was smart, funny, talented. I was just out of high school. He was on his way to being a star. I wanted it to work. But this got so crazy got out of control so fast. And you think you could have stopped it? I watched him take those pills. Ones I couldn't flush down the toilet fast enough. I saw people who called themselves friends feed him poison day and night. You name it, he took it. What do you need, Graham? Got some great stuff, Graham. Yes, I miss him. But I miss him the last five years he was alive, too. Hey, RJ. Excuse me. Trevor's mother's worried about it. She thinks he's running off somewhere. He hasn't seen him. Trevor's missing? Well, she thinks he is. I haven't seen him all day. All right. Thanks, Amy. He told me he was going to leave if he couldn't have his music. Told me his father would understand. God, I'm so scared. Him. 
I can remember so many times when I was lonely or sad or scared. And your husband's music helped me through it. He could write about anything. He could make you feel what he was feeling, think what he was thinking. Well, he's got a gram as a poet who could sing. I was his biggest fan. Not that that did any good. It wasn't the music that killed Graham. I just wish I could have done something for me to turn out different. Like what? Told him to stop playing his music? Given away all his instruments? That would have been like telling the earth not to rotate around the sun. He would have walked out of my life and never come back. Bunch of people looking for you. Mom's kind of upset. Come here sometimes when it's quiet. I keep thinking he can hear me. Give me some answers if you wanted. I'm so mad at him all the time. He took a lot of drugs, you know? He didn't have to do that. Yeah, well, maybe he did. Maybe he had to take him to get the music in his head to stop. You must have get it to start. I should have thanked you before. For the song. No, you were right. You don't need my help. You've got a family that wants to hear you play. Oh, I'd give anything for that. I'd give anything to play like you. I want to trade places. What are you talking about? You play great. Yeah, right. Look, you play with your heart. Why do you think I want to hang out with you? Do you know how many musicians there are that just do not do that? I really leave him down. I don't know how I can stay. I just wish my mom didn't worry about me so much. Well, you're kind of giving her a good reason, aren't you? Hello? Hold on. It's for you, Josh. Josh? I'm sorry, too, honey. I'll talk about it later. Any sign of Trevor? At the bandstand, right? But, Josh? What did, what did he say? <gasps> We're supposed to go to the bandstand. Trevor will see you there. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. That's great, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree with me when I say there is no shortage of amateur talent here at the Graham Riley Music Festival. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, for your listening pleasure, on acoustic guitar, hailing all the way from North Carolina, a young man named Josh Green. Started, I just want to dedicate the song to my mother, who I love with my whole heart. And, and you know, it's hard being a kid sometimes, and it's probably hard being a parent, especially my parents. But anyhow, this isn't really a, a solo. On the piano, we got Trevor Riley. Some of you may, uh, may have heard of his father, uh, a guy named Graham. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> so many faces out there. Uh, Mom, I hope you're out there. Dad, I know you are. Ready? And three, four. <laughs> 